Good morning, guys. Hey, whether you are a novice or whether you've been doing this decoupage with napkins for a long time, this video is focusing strictly on that. I'll show you how I did this, but I will tell you how to get wrinkle-free decoupage done with your napkins. You might be making a couple of mistakes that you didn't realize, and I'll even show you how to do it on a curved surface. And even though it's covered in glitter, I'm going to show you how to get this wrinkle-free napkin decoupage done. Thanks a lot for subscribing, guys. And there's a lot of talking coming up in the video, but the video is not that long. Okay, guys, here's the video. And the very, very first thing, the very first thing you have to do, you really shouldn't be using the probably oldest decoupage glue on the market. I don't even know if it says decoupage glue on it. I want to suggest that you either use a napkin decoupage glue, and I always use the Deco Art napkin decoupage glue, or there are a couple of other decoupage glues down below that I will tell you, you really need to look for these. They're not always in craft stores. I have links below, of course. You're welcome to buy them from me, but if you can find those glues anywhere else, I really strongly recommend. That is the absolute first step. You don't want to use that one that is in every craft store. It's in drug stores. It's in dollar stores. And it takes forever to cure, which is different than drying. And I believe that might be causing the problem. So let's do this. This is a nice flat surface. This is very simple. This is a simple way to start and a simple way to learn. Let's just take one section of napkin and place it on this area. This is called the cocktail napkin. So I have a nice small piece that's going to fit in here. However, the absolute best way to avoid wrinkles is to first put your decoupage glue down and let it dry. This decoupage glue, because it's napkin, it's a nice, you see how thin that is? You want to make sure that you get right up to these ends because a lot of times it's very easy to kind of do this. And even if you're taking your time, it's automatic comes to just lift up the brush towards the end. And you want to make sure you get those edges. And you want to apply two coats, letting it dry between each coat. I'm going to cover the rest of my surface. Then I'll come back and put the second coat on. Now, just as an example, what I'm going to do is on the back here, I put one very light coat. I deliberately made it too light and I skipped some spots because some people, it's just the way you work. You may have a very light hand. You may apply things sparingly. We all have different ways of working, which is why we prefer different pen types. The super fine, the fine, the bold, heavy writers. I tend to have a very heavy hand, which is why I learned a lot of this the hard way. <laughs> so on this piece, this back piece, I'm only going to apply one thin coat because that is another part of what can go wrong with this and I'll show you why. After the second coat on the rest of this is dry. If you're working on a curved surface, two of the secrets to working on curved surfaces is you need very small pieces. So you either want to cut out a piece and simply decoupage that on there or if you are trying to apply the whole section. So here's how you solve this problem. Is you place the napkin decoupage glue, the brush in the center and work your way out. Now with this, if possible, you wanna go with the grain. So I am following the ribs in the shell. And I am going down to these ends. And it's like I'm painting the napkin on. You might be working on a silicone mat or a non-stick surface. And one other thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on a piece of parchment paper. The oven is cold, so I put this in while the oven is cold. I set it to 250 degrees. When the oven reaches 250, it dings, so I turn it off. 
and then I leave this in there to cool down with the oven. What that does is it dries and melts the decoupage glue. So if there were any wrinkles or if you did make a mistake, this will stretch that napkin out. Not that you can see with the naked eye, but just enough to remove any wrinkles. And it will make your surface shiny. The heat will do that. But you can always use a matte top coat if you want to bring it down so that it doesn't have any shine at all. Or you can add, like I almost always do, I add triple thick over the top of it, triple thick glaze, which gives it a super deep, rich gloss. And I oftentimes will sprinkle Here's some Here's the shell that I took out of the oven or I allowed to cool down with the oven. You just file off these edges. I normally use a nail file, but uh, I'm just showing you how this looks without the wrinkles, okay? So when you take those edges away, you can see that even on an uneven surface like this, using this method where you apply the decoupage glue over a dry surface and then you put it in the oven, it's like you're painting it on. And this only works with either small projects like this or smaller pieces of your napkin. Then when you put it in the oven, you can see it's a little bit shiny, which you can change easily, but there are no wrinkles in that. And now here comes the fun part with the birdhouse. So what we'll do is we wanna make sure we remove the back, that one last piece of paper remaining on the back. Make it a lot easier if you cut that section off. And you place the part of the napkin that you would like over your surface. Also, you want to make sure you're only using one layer. If you use two layers, that can really cause a lot of wrinkles. So I'm going to line the napkin's edge up. And what we're going to do is now take our parchment paper, place it over this, you can use a regular iron. I have this very small craft iron for just this purpose. And you want to make sure you ha you have to use that parchment paper. In the past, I've said, eh, I don't think I really need that. And I burnt my paper. It turned brown. So let me get that parchment paper. And you place the par parchment paper over the section you're about to iron and you iron, and I'll show you at about the speed you want to iron. So I'm moving this kind of slowly, and again, I am focusing on these edges. It's very easy to miss these edges. And a nice even pressure over the whole surface, you want to make sure you are ironing this paper down. I normally take, honestly, about two or three minutes to do this, so I'm not going to make you watch me for two or three minutes. I just wanted you to see the speed that I am doing this at. Is that proper English? I don't think so. <laughs> so I'll come right back in two or three minutes. All right, now I'm done ironing this. And of course, I'm going to file off this edge. Okay guys, so here comes the next most important part and this is where people tell me they have a lot of problems. They'll say, I got to this point, followed all of your instructions, so far so good, everything looks good. Then when I go to apply the second coat of decoupage glue, I get wrinkles or bubbles. So let's put some decoupage glue on this area that we've done all the right moves on. You know what else? I personally love these brushes that are angled because they give me a lot of control and I suspect that may help with wrinkles also for some reason. So you can see there are no wrinkles or bubbles. So 
technically this is done. I mean, it needs to dry and that is how you avoid wrinkles. Now, if you remember, I told you that on this back part, I did not apply enough of the decoupage glue. So since I'm going to do this section over again, I'm going to take a not very good piece of the napkin. It doesn't quite fit like it should. And I'm going to iron it on. Oh, we'll come back. Technically, this could be another problem. If you don't iron it down long enough, then what happens is now we're ready to add our second coat of decoupage glue. And here is where people get into trouble. I can see it's starting to bubble up a little bit up here. I'm getting a little bit of wrinkling over here. And sometimes what happens is in order to fix that, you keep adding more and more glue, you get more and more bubbles, and you'll say, eh, I don't know what happened, I followed all of the instructions. So in this section, if you've used that glue or the wrong glue, it can cause wrinkling or bubbling. It can also cause problems if you don't apply the two coats of decoupage glue first, napkin decoupage glue preferably, and if you don't get a decent coating on your surface, that is what can cause your problems. So guys, I think I have covered every problem you might come across when you are trying to do decoupage and not get wrinkles. See, there's already, there's bubbling starting to happen. It actually could look a lot worse than that. By the way, you can always try at this stage to put it in the oven, and that can actually help eliminate some of your wrinkle problems right there. However, sometimes you're working on a piece of furniture or something much larger that does not fit in the oven, so that won't be a very convenient tip for you. You wanna make sure that you start out using the right decoupage glue, and you wanna make sure, if you're going to do this iron-on method on furniture, it's very challenging to cover a very large surface with a napkin. So it is usually better to cut out smaller pieces. And I'm going to put a link below to a video of mine where I decoupaged a smaller table with napkins, also no wrinkles. Unfortunately, I used the very bad glue because this video was from eight years ago, but there are almost two million views on it. So I will have a link down below to that video. Okay, guys, I switched microphones. Sorry if this sounds a little different, but that is our video for the week. You'll notice that I don't have any wrinkles on here, so I hope this, this video has been a help to you. You can contact me over on Facebook at the Patio Elf page. Just click like and follow, and this way Facebook will notify you when I put out a new video, just in case you're missing any of the YouTube notifications. Again, thanks a lot for subscribing. I will see you guys within the next couple of weeks with another video. Thanks again, my friends. Bye-bye.